Hi, I'm Anna White. I live up in Alaska where we have long winters and kids spend a lot of time indoors. I have a very active eight-year-old and she's always climbing on things, swinging or getting into something. We have this bonus room downstairs, so Jacob and I decided that we would surprise her with an indoor playground for Christmas morning. We spent hours collaborating and coming up with different designs. And finally, we agreed upon a plan. Here's what we came up with. We decided to build two separate playhouses out of two by fours, one for each of our kids. We'll make the playhouses four feet by eight feet to maximize boards and plywood and minimize cutting. The playhouses will then be big enough to also fit a twin size bed. Then we'll just connect the two playhouses with monkey bars and a bridge. Under the bridge, of course, will be a secret tunnel. The room is about 15 feet wide and 22 feet long. The playground ended up being 15 feet wide and eight feet deep. I wouldn't go less than 15 feet because the monkey bar run will be too short to actually use. First, we hauled in all of the boards. There was a ton of two by fours. Good thing they're cheap. And then we measured and cut our boards for the two playhouses. We have nine foot ceilings to work with in this basement so we kept the height of the walls right at eight feet. This saved a lot of cutting. If you have an eight foot ceiling, consider using Studlink two by fours for the legs. We built two of the larger walls for each side on the floor and then we stood them up. We used self-tapping screws in various lengths for attaching everything together. After that, we connected the two walls together and added a floor for the second story. It's starting to take shape. Once both playhouses were freestanding, we connected the two playhouses together with two by eights on the top, on both the front and the back. This created a really stable structure. For the monkey bars, we later added the second two by eight. The monkey bars are just pipes drilled into the two by eight boards. The tunnel is built similar to the monkey bars, just two by four boards spanning between the two playhouses. Covered in one by sixes for decking and plywood on the front. That makes a secret tunnel underneath the bridge. For windows in the downstairs, we just cut out holes in the plywood and then attached window frames to the outsides. Upstairs, siding was super easy. We just took our scrap plywood and boards and screwed to the playhouse framing. We left openings to create windows and doorways in the upstairs. To decorate the upstairs, I also made these cute little roofs and then attached with screws to the tops of the windows. It really added some charm. This one really came together quickly once the playhouses were done. We had big plans to do more, like paint and decorate, but we can't get the kids to stop playing on it long enough to do some work on it, and that's okay. This was a really fun project to build with my husband, and it was so exciting to see the look on our daughter's face when we surprised her with it on Christmas morning. She's always downstairs now playing. And she's gotten very good at playing chicken on those monkey bars. And I love that my house is the house for kids to come play now. I've put together free step-by-step -step plans for this project so you can build for your little ones too. They'll love it. If you build this, Please share, I would love to see how yours turns out too.